The rivalry between Airbus and Boeing has been ongoing for decades. However, with the introduction of the Airbus A350, the competitive landscape in the aerospace industry has been altered. The new Airbus A350 has been making waves in the industry, and many analysts believe it is slowly but surely destroying Boeing. In today's video, we will discuss why the new Airbus A350 is causing problems for Boeing and why it is considered a game changer in the aerospace industry. To understand the impact of the Airbus A350 on Boeing, it is important to first look at the two companies' history. For many years, Boeing was the dominant player in the aerospace industry. with its 747 and 777 models being considered some of the best aircraft in the world. However, Airbus entered the market in the 1970s and has gained market share ever since. Airbus has been chipping away at Boeing's dominance in the industry in recent years, and the new Airbus A350 has been a significant factor in this trend. One of the main reasons why the Airbus A350 is causing problems for Boeing is its fuel efficiency. The A350 is designed to be more fuel efficient than any of Boeing's current offerings. This is due to several factors, including its lightweight construction, aerodynamic design and advanced engines. The Airbus A350 uses the latest technology to reduce drag, making it more aerodynamic and reducing the fuel needed to fly. Additionally, the engines in the A350 are designed to be more fuel efficient, further enhancing the aircraft's overall fuel efficiency. Fuel efficiency is a significant factor in the airline industry because fuel costs can account for up to 30% of an airline's total operating expenses. Airlines are constantly looking for ways to reduce fuel costs and the A350's fuel efficiency is a significant selling point. By choosing the A350 over Boeing's offerings, airlines can save a significant amount of money on fuel costs, which can positively impact their bottom line. Another reason why the A350 is causing problems for Boeing is its range. The A350 can fly farther than any of Boeing's current offerings. This is due to its lightweight construction and advanced engines, which allow it to fly further with less fuel. The A350's long range makes it an attractive option for airlines that want to offer non-stop flights to previously unreachable destinations. Boeing's current offerings, such as the 787 Dreamliner, can fly long distances, but the A350 has a significant advantage. The A350's longer range means that airlines can operate more efficiently, which can positively impact their bottom line. Additionally, the A350's long range makes it an attractive option for airlines that want to expand their route network and offer new destinations to their customers. Another factor causing problems for Boeing is the A350's advanced technology. The A350 has the latest technology, including advanced avionics, a state-of-the-art cockpit and an advanced air management system. This technology makes the A350 safer and more reliable than Boeing's current offerings. The A350's advanced technology is a significant selling point for airlines that want to offer passengers a superior flying experience. The A350's advanced avionics and cockpit make it easier for pilots to operate, reducing the risk of accidents and making flights more comfortable for passengers. Additionally, the A350's advanced air management system helps keep the cabin environment comfortable and healthy, which can positively impact passengers' overall experience. Also, the A350's popularity could be improved for Boeing. The A350 is rapidly gaining market share and airlines clearly prefer the aircraft over Boeing's offerings. 
This is evident in the number of orders that Airbus has received for the A350 compared to Boeing's 787 Dreamliner. According to industry reports, as of 2021, Airbus had received over 900 orders for the A350, while Boeing had received just over 600 orders for the 787 Dreamliner. The A350's popularity is due to its superior performance, fuel efficiency, range and advanced technology. These features make the A350 a more attractive option for airlines to replace their aging Boeing fleets with the A350. This trend is likely to continue, which means that Boeing will continue to lose market share to Airbus. However, Boeing has responded to the A350 success by developing new aircraft models designed to compete with the A350. These new models include the 777X and the 797. The 777X is a new variant of Boeing's popular 777 models. It features new engines, composite wings and advanced aerodynamics, which make it more fuel efficient and offer a greater range than the previous 777 models. However, the 777X has faced several delays due to technical issues and has not yet entered service. Additionally, the 777X's advantages are not as significant as those of the A350, which means that it may not be able to compete effectively with the A350. The 797, on the other hand, is a completely new aircraft model that Boeing has been working on for several years. It is designed to be a mid-sized aircraft that offers greater range and efficiency than the current 757 and 767 models. The 797 is expected to only be developed from 2024 onward, but it remains to be seen whether it will be able to compete effectively with the A350. Boeing has also focused on developing new technologies that could give it an edge over Airbus. For example, Boeing is developing a hypersonic passenger jet that could travel at speeds of up to Mark 5. This technology is still in the early stages of development and is not expected to be ready for commercial use for many years. The success of the A350 has demonstrated that Airbus is now a major player in the aerospace industry. This shift in market share is likely to continue in the coming years as airlines replace their older fleets with more fuel-efficient and advanced aircraft. However, the aerospace industry is facing several challenges, including the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic, concerns about climate change and the rising costs of developing new technologies. These challenges will likely shape the industry's future and could have significant implications for Airbus and Boeing. In addition to these challenges, Boeing has faced significant setbacks in recent years, particularly with the grounding of the 737 MAX aircraft following two fatal crashes. These incidents raised questions about Boeing's engineering practices and its relationship with regulatory agencies. Boeing has also faced criticism for cost overruns and delays in delivering new aircraft, such as the 787 Dreamliner. They also have a history of labor disputes with their employees, particularly with their engineers and machinists. Boeing must navigate these challenges, develop new aircraft models that can compete with the A350, and continue to innovate and adapt to remain successful. Otherwise, it will likely continue to lose market share to Airbus in the coming years. Moreover, the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic on the airline industry has further increased the challenges faced by Boeing. Many airlines have been forced to reduce their fleets and cut costs, which has led to a slowdown in the demand for new aircraft. In this context, the A350's superior fuel efficiency and range make it an even more attractive option for airlines looking to replace their older, less fuel-efficient aircraft. Another advantage that the A350 has over Boeing's offerings is its flexibility. The A350 is available in three different variants the A350-900, A350-1000 and A350-900ULR, each with different ranges and seating capacities. This flexibility allows airlines to choose the variant that best suits their needs and to operate more efficiently. 
For example, airlines that want to offer long-haul flights to remote destinations can choose the A350-900 ULR, which has a range of up to 9,700 nautical miles. On the other hand, airlines that want to operate shorter haul flights can choose the A350-900, which has a range of up to 8,100 nautical miles. This flexibility makes the A350 a more versatile option for airlines, which further enhances its appeal. Furthermore, the A350's superior performance and fuel efficiency make it an environmentally friendly option. In an era where sustainability is becoming increasingly important, airlines are under pressure to reduce their carbon footprint. The A350's fuel efficiency and lower emissions make it a more environmentally friendly option than Boeing's offerings. The A350's success has also had a knock-on effect on the supply chain. Many suppliers that previously worked with Boeing have now switched to Airbus, which has further strengthened Airbus's position in the market. This shift in the supply chain could have long-term implications for Boeing, as it may become more difficult for the company to source the parts and components it needs to build its aircraft. So guys, what's your take on the rise of Airbus and how it is gradually taking over Boeing? Do you think Boeing will find their way to the top again in the aerospace industry? Please share your opinion in the comments below. Additionally, remember to hit the like and subscribe button. We'll be back soon with another video. Thank you for tuning in.